Right guys, welcome to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple Bangladeshi fish curry once again. Now this one's cooked with these tiny fishes, um, similar to the anchovy which you're probably used to, but I've had loads of requests um, from my Bangladeshi viewers to show uh, this dish, I don't know why. And since my mom uh, wanted to have it, I thought why not put it on my channel. So it's a very simple keski fish curry dish for you guys to enjoy. So hopefully everyone's going to be happy. I've got vegan recipes, vegetarian recipes, beef, chicken, um, so hopefully contrast and it's amazing how I've got loads of viewers all over the world which is fantastic and it's overwhelming. Uh, I just started off, started off in the restaurant and now I'm doing these series at home and I wish I could go out and uh, do a few vlogs outside but obviously with the lockdown you can't really do nothing at the moment. So um, hopefully you're going to enjoy this really authentic fish curry. Bismillah. So we've got the pan on on a medium high heat. Now we're adding vegetable oil. Four tablespoons of vegetable oil. There's one onion. No, I think, no, I'm going to drop the No, I'm going to drop the So the oil was nice and hot. The onion's gone in, it's caramelising straight away. That's one teaspoon of uh, heat, teaspoon of uh, salt. This is a slightly larger teaspoon, so um, just normal we use for drinking tea and so on, so that's why there's quite a bit of salt. <clears throat> now just putting in some bay leaf, pespata. Now because the pan was nice and hot and we used a fair amount of um, oil, uh, the onions caramelised uh, straight away. It's only been a few minutes and it's looking very good. So the salt obviously helps it become soft. So this is a buna type of uh, curry, so she wants the onions to remain. So turmeric, uh, just one teaspoon of turmeric. Chili powder, a fair bit, so one. And coriander, so these are heat teaspoons guys. Curry powder do you and half a teaspoon of curry powder that was. So that's all the spices gone in. She just reduced the gas to uh, a low gas. So now the spice has gone in, so we'll put it back up to medium. Now we're adding some green chilies. Those four green chilies, birds are green chilies, just sliced up. I normally at this stage just add a bit of tomato, uh, but um, we're not going to. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is the Shatkora which is a Bangladeshi citric sort of fruit. You can add that. And people also add clementine peel. Uh, this my mum just dried up and uh, we just put it in water. So traditionally, um, this specific fish is cooked with either these uh, clementine peels or the shatkora. Now, not many people might be familiar with the shatkora except the traditional Bengali people. So today we're gonna add the shatkora. There you go, the shakora has gone in. We normally buy the shakora when it's fresh in season and uh, leave it in the freezer to use throughout the year. You can also get a few of these packets in uh, traditional Asian supermarkets, mainly Bangladeshi stores. Um, some uh, other Pakistani uh, stores also do shatkora, but it's a phenomenal vegetable and hopefully when I'm doing uh, more 
of these curries at home series I'll be showing you very traditional ingredients for you guys to do and uh, it'll be a nice learning and teaching experience for you guys and myself as well so literally it's been about five minutes cooking time right it's been cooking about five six minutes and we're just going to add a little bit of water this is boiling water A nice drizzle of water to get all the spices and everything cooking away and the reason why we cook the uh, spices in the oil is just to take away um, the we just bring it alive because it, the spices can go a bit damp so the spices needs to be cooked properly and plus mm. So the spice is, um, has its own little uh, rawness um, smell as well as uh, flavour. So if you cook it, um, add a bit of water, we call this boonering uh, the masala. Uh, in Bengali they say when you do it khoshaya, so you do it, cook it beautifully. Now the fish that I'm going to be using, this is the Khaski fish in Bangladeshi or Pakistani or Asian supermarkets. It comes frozen. So this is the Khaski. It's like a sort of anchovy uh, sort of fish. So it comes frozen and what we've done, we've defrosted it. This is how it looks. Beautiful. There you go. Now it's got slight, obviously the bone inside the middle, but it just cooked as it is and you just bite it and you eat it. So this is one block is about 250 grams. So we got two blocks over here. So we're going to be using that's so about 500 grams, guys. So the fish goes in. Look at that amazing colors. So when you're stirring it, make sure you stir it carefully because the fish can break. Okay. So Okay, so if you like it with a bit of sauce, it like gets low in a high, especially low in a high. So, so when the fish went in, that was on a low gas, and uh, now uh, we've just stirred it and hopefully uh, put it uh, slightly just less than medium. Right, so the fish has gone in. Now, if you want, you can add a bit of water to make it with a bit of sauce. If you like to cook it in a sort of dry style, leave the sauce out. So it's going to have a little fry taste. Um, but again, it's up to you what you fancy. So traditionally, uh, we like this specific dish, sort of Buna style, nice thick uh, sauce. And she she's used a fair bit of oil. So it's got that fried sort of flavour. So that's why we use analyzudin uh So if you wanted more healthy, um cooked with about two teaspoon two tablespoons of oil would have been fine. But as you can see here, we used uh, four tablespoons uh, to get to, to have a, like a proper Buna style dish. So there you go. And now we're going to add our secret ingredient. Mm. 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 So, so this is the secret ingredient. There you go. This is going to bring out fantastic flavor. Everyone's familiar with this. This is Bangladeshi Naga. It was green and it's turned uh, nice and orangey, yellowy uh, color. It's going to be nice and spicy. So she's going to chop this up and whack it into the curry. So um, we've just used the tip of the naga, not all of it. Cut it very carefully. There you go. Now we're adding that in. The naga kita lagi do. Granola. 
So basically, um, it's just for the fragrance, not for the spice levels. It just brings out a phenomenal aroma. So it's beautiful in flavor. So not for the spice guys, but if you're spice lovers, there's a So people who like a very spicy dish, add it all, it's no problem. But we just like the essence, the fragrance of it. There you go, cooking it on a medium low gas. It's been about 14 minutes of cooking time, so it doesn't take too long. Mm. So there's a liquid that's released from the fish. Once that liquid um, is uh, sort of evaporates by the heat and uh, it sort of separates from the oil uh, and, the, and, the, and the liquid, that's when you know the curry is ready. So, and the shatkora, shatkora to the joy his toy So, the shatkora, we, we've cut it in small pieces. So obviously that needs that steam from the lid that we've just put on for so it's to soften up. So we're going to cook this for a bit and then we'll come back to it shortly. So cooking on a slow gas. Chesky fish. Proper Bangladeshi fish curry with shat kora. Beautiful. There you go. There you go, beautiful coriander, nice and fresh. So the coriander has gone in. So as you can see, the oil has separated. Alfani fani So now you know. Now you know the. Kesky fish curry is ready. So there you go. Kesky fish curry. Very nice in flavor. A traditional, authentic Bangladeshi dish. Now, if you've enjoyed this traditional dish, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos.